You know, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is the extremely good news of God that sound to be too good to be true, and yet it is true. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ touches every aspect of our lives. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ addresses every problem of mankind. And so Romans chapter 1 verse 16 says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. You see, the gospel of Jesus is the power of God. And that power can deal with any problem of mankind. And so we are happy. It's our joy to be giving the gospel of Jesus Christ. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenoga. As usual, the almighty God, the creator of the universe, the God of all flesh, your father, my father, have sent me to you with another word this morning to encourage you, to inspire you, and to motivate you, and to help you, and to bless you. This morning, I pray in the name of Jesus, that God Almighty, your Father, will remember you. You see, it's so beautiful when God remembers somebody. The Bible says, and God remembered Lot, and God remembered Noah. And God remembered Rachel. You see, when God remembers you, it's a sweet story. May God remember you today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Today, I want to speak about criticism. You see, what is criticism? Criticism is simply judging other people. Because when you criticize somebody, you are judging the person that he ought not to do it the way he has done it. He has done it the way he deemed fit. But you are criticizing that action because you judge that action not to be right. And that is why you are criticizing. And so criticism is in two ways. It's a two-edged sword. The first edge is when you see somebody, you criticize them. The second side of the sword is when people look at you and they criticize you. They criticize you, they talk you down, they judge you, they say things that they believe you should be doing that you are not doing. They don't know you, they don't know your situation, they don't know what you are going through. They don't know where the shoe is pinching you. You are the one that is wearing the shoes. You know what you are going through. They don't know, but they criticize you. That is for you. But let's look at it the other way. You don't know them. You don't know what they are going through. You don't know what they've been through, but you can judge them. You can say, why did they do it that way? Why are they behaving that way? You don't know what informs their decision, but you open your mouth to criticize them. Now, let me tell you something about criticism. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6 from verse 1, it says, judge not that you be not judged. Now, when he says judge not, (laughs) I want you to understand what he's saying. He's saying, don't criticize. Judge not that Jesus is saying, he's talking about criticism. You see? God does not want you to criticize other people. But now let me tell you something about criticism. There is no man on the face of the earth that they will not criticize. No matter how good you are, they will criticize you. You see, let me tell you something. I love Pastor Chris Oyakilome. But with the way I love him, I was surprised to see some people criticizing him. I love Papa E.A. Adeboye. But to my surprise, some people are openly criticizing that man. I love T.D. Jakes. But I'm surprised that many people don't see the way I see it. They criticize him. They talk against him. You see, no matter how good you are, no matter what you are doing, they will criticize you. You see? Many people are criticizing others. Others. 
There's one man, I'm sorry to mention the name, but this is for everybody knows. They, they call him, okay, no, let me not mention. They openly criticize the great men of God. They openly, even on YouTube, their duty is to criticize. No, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Jesus Christ, our Lord, said, Judge not that you be not judged. He said, For with the same judgment that you meet, so shall it be meted out back to you. You see? Let's understand the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's be our brother's keeper. Let's help one another. There is no one that is perfect. I'm surprised that in the days of our Lord Jesus Christ, he went about doing good, healing all those who are oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. The day he was arrested and criticized and accused, one of the servants that arrested him, Peter cut off his ear. And Jesus took that ear and put it back. You know, the blood will be flowing. But they all saw it, that the air was cut off. And Jesus put the air back, and everything became normal. The blood went back, and it was as if nothing happened. They saw that miracle, and yet they arrested him. They saw the good that Jesus did, and yet they arrested him, and they killed him. Because that was his purpose, to deliver you and to deliver me. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening to the sound of my voice, are they criticizing you? So do, so did they criticize our Lord Jesus Christ. Which of the prophets have they not criticized? Are they talking about you? So they talked about our Lord Jesus Christ. But one thing I want to ask you, are you criticizing them? Are you talking about them? If you are, it's a sin. You have to repent. And today, this is where I'm going to stop. Thank you so much for listening to the sound of my voice. You are able to hear this, courtesy partners of I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. Thank you, all the partners. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, today is Tuesday. Please come to church in Bethlehem. Pastor Mankoba will bless you with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thursday is the next day for our meeting in Springs. I and some other ministers of God are there to bless you. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. Please subscribe to this podcast where you are hearing. If you hear this anywhere, please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and follow us and like us even on YouTube on Spreaker and Podbean and iHeart Radio. Like us, follow us on Spotify. Everywhere on the internet, you find us, follow us. God bless you. So that you can hear this message every time it is broadcasted anew. Thank you so much. If you'd like to be a partner with me, you want to sponsor, you want to sow a seed to this ministry, just save my number. My number is plus two seven seven four. 0302381. WhatsApp that number. If you need this message on your WhatsApp, just say add me. If you want to be a partner, just say partner. You want to sow a seed, just say seed. Thank you so much. The Lord will bless you, replenish you. Partners, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.